stenosis is a term that is used to describe a three-dimensional deformity of the spine where it curves in one plane and rotates in the other. So it's more of an adjective that we use to describe what we see clinically or on x-ray and less a diagnosis in and of itself. There are lots of different causes of scoliosis spanning all different age groups from birth to old age. But the most common type that we see is called adolescent idiopathic scoliosis or AIS. Adolescent because it affects children usually between the ages of 10 to 16 when they hit their prepubertal or pubertal growth spurt. And idiopathic is a word that we use in medicine in general. We don't really understand yet why something happens, but we know it's not because of anything else going on, that there's nothing else bad going on inside of a patient's body. Most spines grow straight, about one and roughly 100 grow with a curve to them when a patient reaches their prepubertal or pubertal growth spurt. Most likely, your child's pediatrician has been screening your child every year at their well child checks or well visit for scoliosis by doing a physical exam. They'll look for asymmetric shoulders or a waist asymmetry. They'll have a patient bend forward and look for a rib rise or the rotation that we talked about. And that can be a clue that a patient might have scoliosis. To know for sure, and if your pediatrician is concerned enough, many times they'll order an x-ray. We're lucky at Stanford Children's to have an EOS machine available, which takes a high quality x-ray of the spine at 1 50th the radiation dose. And I say lucky because we're the only children's hospital in Northern California to have one of these machines. But don't worry, even a standard digital x-ray of your child's spine is taken with minimal radiation about what they would be exposed to if they flew from San Francisco to Chicago. The treatment of scoliosis depends on the size of the curve and how much growth a patient has to go. The smaller the curve and the older the patient, the less likely it is to worsen with time. And conversely, the larger the curve and the more growth a patient has to go, the more likely it is or the higher risk it is at getting worse. Nothing cures scoliosis except for surgery, and we only recommend that when the curve is very large and progressive. The concept of a lifetime with a crooked spine can be very alarming to patients and their parents, but it doesn't have to be. We know from long-term natural history studies or research where we ask patients 30, 40, 50 years from now how they're doing, that life with mild to moderate scoliosis looks pretty much the same as life with no scoliosis at all. For those patients who are still growing and whose curves might be at risk of worsening, there are things that we can do to help. We work with orthotists very closely to custom make braces to try to prevent progression in those patients who it might help. And we also have availability of Schroth physical therapy, which is a scoliosis specific physical therapy that helps patients take control of their curves and empower them in their treatment of scoliosis and their backs. Here at Stanford Children's, we take a team-based approach where we treat not just a patient's x-ray or scoliosis, but their whole self. The diagnosis of scoliosis can be a scary one, but it doesn't have to be. Our patients lead active, fulfilled lives now and in the future, and we work hard to help them continue to do so. If you'd like to learn more, please contact us. Thank you.